guys, so I'm here waiting to turn in my Airbnb keys. All packed, ready to go on our next adventure. I have to make a stop, but I need to put all of this stuff into these two bags. So I only have two bags. Um, I have no idea how I'm gonna do that, but we'll figure it out later. for Christmas um which I'm really really sad about because my mom and dad thought it'd just be best for me to stay here in France because the situation in New York and in Philly and in Newark all the airlines that I could fly out of are completely just berserk and they don't want me to get stuck which I I totally agree because if I had to finish my last semester in like distance learning I would just be irritated so I am here I took a little trip to the south of France um I have no idea what I just did. <laughs> I mean, like, it's. I took the train down from Paris, and it was about four hours. It was a very easy train ride. Honestly, I fell asleep. I woke up in snippets and saw, like, cows and mountains, and then I woke up again, and I was looking at, like, flamingos. It, it, yeah, I have no idea. But I'm going to walk there because the lady across the hall said that the supermarket opens from 8.30 a.m. to about 12, and then it closes, and it reopens, you know, sometimes 3, sometimes later, but then it closes at, like, 7, and I'm like, you guys see this outside? This is what we're working with as a view. If I told you that that was downtown, you would laugh at me, but it it is. The next couple of days, I'll carry on my camera so we get a nice high def quality of what is popping in this little town. I don't think there's nothing. And I honestly don't even want to speak loud because I'm like, I don't know. I literally felt like I walked into like, I don't know, a medieval movie when I was like walking down some of these alleyways. Like I will show them to you guys. It. <laughs> Let's just say my people ain't come from these streets, okay? excited the sun came out and it totally made this like a beach town Liddy had so much stuff i love this the supermarket a little bit about where i'm staying not too far from here and what it's known for is that there is a nudist colony which makes sense because Time lapses here. 
So that's what I'm going to be doing for the next couple of weeks here. Just exploring this part of southern France and trying to work on my French and get better at that. Yeah. So we're walking back, walking back, walking back. One thing you have to pay attention to is the dog poop here. There's always so much dog poop. I'm trying to find my way back to the bus stop. Oh, look at this house. Isn't it cute? One thing about down here is you can definitely tell the different type of architecture. It's very different than what you'd find in Paris. I believe this was the street I needed to take up to the bus. The time I was supposed to be at home, I didn't have a place to live. But by the time I figured out, like, by the time I figured out everything that was happening, the prices for Paris were like $1,100 for three weeks of rent, which is really ridiculously high. And I decided to look stay in France but look somewhere else um, to live for a couple weeks so I ended up here in Cap de Age, Cap, Cap de Age, Age, Age de U. Although I do notice that here people aren't really wearing masks as much outside. Inside, yes. Outside, not so much. Um, actually, I saw some flamingos on the train and I wanted to try and figure out where the flamingos were but I haven't found them yet, but I'm going to keep looking. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be here for a couple of weeks, just enjoying, exploring, walking around, resting. I need to work on my website, as like in my portfolio. Um, I had the opportunity to speak with a couple of different professionals who suggested that I focus on building my Instagram more than my um, website, which is a bummer. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to attack that. But I'm going to yeah, basically just be relaxing and chilling. I have two photo shoots to finish retouching one i'm almost done the other one i have to start um but yeah so i'll be checking in with you guys if i find some cool places i'll pop it and show you guys if not i just wish everyone a merry christmas joyeux fête joyeux joyeux fête i don't know we're still working on the french thing guys but peace <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.